So how dramatic is this? How important? How significant? What are the consequences? Well, one of the strange things is we actually don't know because <laughs> we only have observations by satellite of the cover of sea ice. But one of the most important things in Antarctica that sea ice does for us is it drives um, pumping of deep ocean waters. It pumps water downwards and taking with it heat and carbon. And it does that when it freezes and when it melts. Um, but because we can't get the thickness of the sea ice, we actually don't know what the mass change is, what the actual volume of the change is. We only know the change in cover. So we, we sort of, we think it might be important, but we really don't know what the consequences of these trends in sea ice cover in sea ice area are, in all honesty. And what's the importance of, of sea ice? Can you explain that? Um, so the most obvious importance is that it's a reflective layer. So, you know, if you go skiing, you'll know that snow is very reflective. And so it, it bounces sunlight back into space that would otherwise be absorbed by the ocean. So it acts as a cooling mechanism. So particularly in the Arctic, if you remove sea ice, you warm the ocean a lot more than you would otherwise. Uh, in Antarctica, it's, it's a very important part of the ecosystem. Um, some species of penguins need sea ice. They need the sea ice from which to, to breed and hunt. Um, and also some of the species of seals need sea ice to, to haul out and breed on. So in those areas of Antarctica where sea ice is decreasing, uh, you're finding changes in the species there, uh, as you are with uh, regions where the sea ice is increasing. So the different penguin species are, are moving in their distribution. And um, how different is the Antarctic compared to the Arctic? We know that the Arctic, the ice loss there, that has an impact on the, the weather here in Europe. What's the impact of the overall situation in Antarctica? Uh, it's completely different, Alistair. I mean, um, People think because they're po polar regions, they're very similar, but they're completely different systems. The Arctic is an ocean that's basically surrounded by land, whereas the Antarctic is a continent surrounded by the ocean. And in particular, the, the Southern Ocean, the ocean that surrounds Antarctica, has a connection with water masses that haven't been in the atmosphere for hundreds and hundreds of years. And so the, the dynamics, the way that the sea ice and the oceans interact with each other is completely different, which is why we see these difference in trends, this enormous decrease in sea ice in the Arctic, uh, uh, but this sort of not quite so clear pattern in the Antarctic. 